So it's been a few months. Where have I been lately? Well, work just got crazy. I got, my last video was about ADHD and me. I got diagnosed with ADHD and it was literally like mind blowing. <laughs> so I had to deal with that stuff and just getting through how I was like, so I decreased my antidepressants. So the Wellbutrin that I was, I mentioned in the video and it was like cut in half because my psychiatrist was like, you know what? It's most likely ADHD and this is just kind of canceling things out. So I did that and then now I am completely off Wellbutrin and it's super exciting. Um, it was not as exciting at the time. When I stopped taking it, I felt all of these weird symptoms. Like I was so depressed, did not know what to do, could not get out of bed. I didn't want to move and I didn't even want to bike <laughs> and I'm like obsessed with biking right now. Yeah, so that was a roller coaster for real. And that lasted almost like 10 days, maybe two weeks almost. And it was just like, I didn't want to do anything. I haven't felt like that since like probably 2020, which is good to hear. But also like that was really scary. And I was like, oh no, I'm going to be dependent on Wellbutrin or all of these medications for the rest of my life. So now um, we are really focusing on the Viavans and taking that. Work-wise, um, I've been really busy and I'm very thankful that I've been doing like this video stuff for health and wellness professionals for about like over a year and I get to call that my main job. And the fact that, yeah, I get to film and then promote health and wellness is just kind of a dream come true because I feel like my main purpose in life is to just kind of put health and wellness out there into the world and help it be more accessible to people, have good educational videos, or bring out a message of professionals or trainers or physios or whoever and like bring their message out. So that's been that's been doing well. So I'm very happy about that as well. So good things happening. Didn't feel like it at the time. And <laughs> I think I had a low yesterday and that's okay. But I'm really trying to take care of myself, take care of my body. I'm even trying to slow down when it comes to work, which is gonna be tough, but I am I'm doing it and I'm actively doing it. Hi baby, come here. The girl. finally back at it again with the tracking with the weighing with <laughs> with the exercising with all of that so i'm really trying my best here to get back on that another thing of good news is i am under the 160 mark so when i first started kind of this even just before this whole journey to 30 thing i started i think at about 171 172 oh. pounds and then now I'm at like 158, 159, today was 155. Pretty awesome. I am back here hoping to vlog all the time again because I do miss it. I got a new camera, so why wouldn't I? So my goal weight is 150 pounds and I want to maintain that. And then, so I...
anyways, yeah, Monday to Saturday, I have to track my food. Try to keep up with the protein, the fiber, the steps. And then my calories, not too concerned about the exact number of calories or what I have to stay under right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm just kind of figuring that out. I just want to get into the habit of tracking again. Protein goal is I'm going to be a little bit more chill with myself right now and it is 120, but I would prefer if it could be 150. So my goal weight is 150. So per pound of like protein, like gram of protein per pound of goal weight, I would prefer to try to get my protein at 150 a day if I can, but I won't beat myself up as long as I get 120. So that's something for me to kind of understand and feel a little bit better about. I'm really trying to still hit that 150 though. And in terms of fiber, 20 to 25 grams um, a day. And then steps, 8,000 a day. When it comes to exercise, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. So right now we're in fall and fall is so beautiful, but that also means winter's coming. So I'm trying to get as much biking sessions outside as much as I can. So right now I'm getting a lot of, not a lot, but like a good amount of time and kilometers outside. And then I got into pickleball again and now I'm kind of obsessed. So I'm trying to like spread things out a bit. It's a lot more cardio right now, like cardio heavy. And then I started learning how to box. I just, I started boxing because I don't know, I wanted to try something new. And then also like, apparently I can be a very angry little girl person sometimes. And so that's been a really nice little outlet to get my anger out. And then for sure I have to strength train for an hour once a week at least or like even two bouts of 30 minutes strength training just to like make sure I stay okay ideally I would like to do two to three times but right now like I said my activity is kind of been everywhere and pickleball is pretty fun so I'm just I'm just figuring it out right now so that's where we're at right now 